Hey guys, it's Mike from Adano, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add scalable scenario analysis to your modular scalable financial models. Now, one of the biggest misconceptions about scenario analysis is that it's actually built into a model and that the model is a scenario analysis model. The best way to think about scenario analysis is a layer on top of an existing model where you're just jimming with existing assumptions to see how the outputs would look under different scenarios that you can compare side by side. And to do that, you really just build an existing model and then you layer on top a scenario manager and sensitivity assumptions within that. So the model I have right now is a three-way rolling one financial model model with some reports. Uh, it contains budget variance analysis, but it doesn't yet contain scenario analysis. Now, in this example, I'm just going to add some basic scenario analysis to revenue, cost of goods sold, and operating expenditure. The scenario analysis is going to basically stress test those under three different cases. Now, before I get going on this, I need to add a scenario manager to this model. Now, to do that, I'm going to go to Insert from Web, and I'm going to look for the Scenario Manager module. And that's the module that sort of holds all this together. So there we go, Scenario Manager, Variable Scenario. So I'm going to insert that module. And this is the key to doing modular scenario analysis, is the Scenario Manager module is just a header module that basically contains the names of the scenarios and the number of scenarios. So by default, there are three scenarios. I'm just going to make the base case one, the first one base case. I'll make the second one funding case. And I might make the third one IPO case. Okay, and that'll do for now. Now what I need to do is put some sensitivity assumptions in for revenue for each scenario. So to do that, rather than do it manually, which I can do, I'm instead just going to look and see if there's a module which already has scenario analysis in it for revenue. So this is a revenue amounts module. I'm going to replace it. And you'll see, by the way, when I go to do that, when I go to do that, I'm actually going to do replace from web and make sure I connect the, I select the try to retain assumptions button uh, checkbox because I do want to retain my assumptions. And I'm going to look at the different options. And you'll see here I have different scenarios. I'm going to choose the percentage change scenarios. The percentage change scenarios is basically going to be the same module, but I'm going to have percentage change assumptions within the scenario manager for each of the categories. So you'll see here, I now have the scenarios here, the scenarios coming through from the scenario manager. So if I double click on this on mine, um, I can see, you can see now I've got scenarios. So I've got the running scenario, which at the moment is the base case. I can put the funding case at say plus 5%. I'm just going to put some dummy numbers in and 10% for the IPO case. So if I move the model across now to the IPO case, and then I went back to my revenue assumptions, my revenue assumptions are now running the 5% case, and you'll see it's got sensitivity and revenue. So if I go back to my, if I go to my sensitivity checks, the revenue assumptions are being detected as active in the model, which if I switch it back to base case, switch back to zero, and the model now contains the base case revenue and zero scenarios flowing through. So I've now got scenarios on revenue. Now, the hard thing here is you, you really want to do side by side comparisons. So to do that, I'm going to put in a scenario summary dashboard. So I'm going to insert from web and the scenario summary dashboard module, which I'm going to put the small one in because I like putting on A4 A, A4 or letter. So I'm going to put the scenario summary dashboard in. That is just a dashboard that enables us to do side by side comparisons. Uh, by using data tables. Now data tables, if you've never used them before, are obviously really, they're really intensive on the performance of Excel. So by default, they're disabled in this module. And what I'd recommend you do is go to the formulas tab, go to the calculation options and switch across to automatic except for data tables with calculation options when you're using data tables. I can now turn these on and they'll turn on that they won't slow Excel down very much. But if I want them to calculate, I need to press F9 or calculate now and that'll run through and actually calculate. You can see it calculating each of the different scenarios for each of the line items that are in this dashboard. So if I now go to my table of contents and go to scenario summary, I now have the three different cases based purely on revenue. Now, if I now add scenarios for, if I go to my revenues expenses and add scenarios for my, say, cost of goods sold. So I'll go to my revenues expenses. I've got a margin. I've got a margin based cogs here. So I'm going to go replace from web, and in this case, I'm going to select margins, maybe um, absolute change over time. So I'm going to do cost of goods sold, margins, say monthly scenarios, actually. I'll do, I'll do monthly scenarios. So with these ones here, I'm just going to do monthly scenarios. And what that means is I can actually change my margin across all categories for each month. So say in this case, we're going to have, in this case, we're going to have the, the margin still at 25%. But if you go through to my scenario manager now, I now have my scenario manager I have different assumptions for my forecast for all these different periods. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to hide those those categories there. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to group those guys. I'm just going to hide those. 
and then I'm not going to hide categories. And then I'm going to go in here, I'm going to go, okay, let's assume my margin on these guys is, say, 1% higher. Make this one, say, the IPO case, 2% higher. <coughs> Excuse me, so an aggressive case. So if I now go to, say, my funding, my IPO case, you'll see if I go to my revenues and expenses, I now have plus 2% on my margin on these, which is going to be causing a real kick. So if I go back to my, if I go back now to my scenarios, I'm just going to go to my scenario manager, put that back on base case. And then if I go to my scenario summary, I can now go, okay, let's calculate, go to my formulas, press F9 or just press calculate now. And, and now come through. It's, it's increased my margins. So now if I wanted to do, say, scenarios on operating expenditure, I'd do the exact same process. In this case, I might just do operating expenditure. I'm going to do replace from web, make sure I've got retained assumptions. And in this case, I'll just do incremental change. I'll just do percentage change again. So I'm just going to do, say, amounts, percentage change scenarios, replace these guys. That'll retain the assumptions and just add the ability to put percentage change on. So realistically, if my revenues are going up, I probably have to put some sort of OPEX increase as well. Um, which I didn't do for COGS, but it's obviously it's your scenarios. You can put whatever you like. So in this case, I'm going to go back to my scenarios here, and I'm going to put in, say, for my scenario manager, I'll put in for operating expenditure salaries. I'll make everything, say, 2% higher. And I'll go, say, 4% higher for the IPO case. If I now go to my scenario summary, you can see that if I calculate now, the scenario summary around for this. If I look down below, I've now got my base case, funding case, and IPO case. And what's really powerful about this, this modular scenario analysis is I can now go in and do scenario manager. Let's add another scenario. So I can just type in four here. And just like extending the time series and adding categories and customizing my module, this is going to add another scenario to this workbook, and you'll see it come across here in a moment. And I can call this, say, you know, dream case. Dream case, and we go, say, 20% increase in sales, you know, a 5% increase in margin, no increase in OPEX. So the world just the world just turns good for us. Then I go to my scenario summary, go up here, and again press F9 or calculate. And my dream case is now in there and it's off the charts. Okay, and that is how you include scenario analysis. Now you might want to include custom scenario analysis. If you want to do that, I'd recommend you you really need to go to the training section of your account and look at the training exercise, which we have under the Financial Modeling 2, we have a scenario analysis exercise in here. Um, and then we also have under the content libraries, generic financial model, the scenario analysis has comprehensive videos on how to actually customize and create your own scenarios. And there's a whole section here on how to customize and create your own scenarios where you just watch the video and it will explain to you how to add your own assumptions for any module in your workbook and layer on that scenario analysis. So scenario analysis is one of the most powerful things in Modano and it's very easy to add to any model. Um, custom scenarios are actually really easy to add as well once you get the hang of it. So what I'd recommend you do is start by adding existing modules to include scenarios, even start with some of the templates that include scenario analysis built into them. And then if you would like to create custom scenarios, either do some training or contact us via support and we can walk you through your first scenario customization and then you can go off and do it on your own. I hope this has been helpful. We look forward to seeing how you go. Good luck. <laughs>